Hold up. Hello, my beautiful family. It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well on this fabulous Sunday. And I'm back again with the verse of the day. And I'm super excited to share this one with you. It's definitely one of my favorite like concepts slash verses of the Bible. So I'm super excited to share that with you all. And we're just gonna get right into it. And I say all this, I give you all this information and as I've said in the past, I am no expert in any of this. I am learning just like you guys. I'm just diving into the word each and every day to try to help you guys understand better. And I'm learning to understand better as I'm teaching you guys. And it's just crazy the impact that these videos have had on um, you guys and me. I have... It's just crazy. And I'm so glad that I am able to share these videos with you guys every Sunday. We are talking about finding the silver lining, as our society would say, of a bad situation. I'll just start out with the verse, which is Romans 12, 21. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. The whole chapter 12 of Romans is being a living sacrifice for God and changing the way you think in order to be able to find the good and bad things. It's really letting your mind be changed by God and being open to um, God's word and letting his spirit change the way you think towards people and situations. We are called to love each other with genuine affection and to really dive deep into that love and I think the only way to be able to show that love to others and accept that love from others is to truly know that you are loved by God and I think that's something that you need to accept and kind of know about in order to be able to love someone else in that type of way. Another thing I talked about is to never be lazy when you are working for God or doing anything for others or serving the Lord. When you wake up every morning, you should be thinking that today you are serving the Lord. You are going to school because the Lord is calling you to do so. You might hate your job, you might hate what you're doing, but you are doing it for the Lord and no one else. So I don't know that puts a little pep into my step when I'm having like a rough Monday and I'm just like Oh, I don't want to do any of this But you just think about that God has put you here and if you If you tend to think back on what has put you in the situation like a lot of hard work then you are going to tend to have more motivation in continuing to do what you're doing and wake up every morning with a purpose and knowing that God gifted you with another day on this earth Another thing that's important during hard times is to be patient in trouble and to continuously pray. Do not stop praying just because you don't see the answer or clear solution yet. Um, God is always working to show you um, the answer. Prayers will lead you in the right direction, so never stop praying and be patient in this hard time. Do everything in your power to live peacefully with one another. We are called to live peacefully with our neighbors and anyone we come in contact with. So really try to achieve that. And first of all, that's probably gonna help you in bad situations because if you're thinking about the overall well-being of everyone, including yourself, things are gonna work out better than if you're just worrying about your problems. Lastly is do not copy the behaviors and customs of this world. It will lead you astray and a lot of things that are going on in society right now are just not good to follow and you really have to protect yourself, protect your mind, protect your heart from all those things because there are evil in this world that we can't control but we can learn to steer away from. Don't copy the bad um, or sinful nature that some of this world can bring us into that downward spiral um, of trouble. Finding a group of friends, a group of people that have similar mindset of you and are also trying to stray away from that evil and that misdirection will help you as well. You need to surround your people you need to surround yourself with people like that. It's gonna be a lot harder for you to stay out of trouble, um, follow God's word when you are surrounding yourself with the trouble and putting yourself in those bad situations. But going into this week, I would just tell you guys to be patient if you're having a really hard time in something. Be patient and continue to pray because I think that you will be able to make it through and just 
being peaceful with everyone, always thinking about the good of everyone else, and really striving to make peace with others and genuinely loving everyone. If you guys need a prayer request, need to chat with me or anything, just leave a comment down below and I'd love to hear from you guys. I will see all your beautiful faces on Wednesday. Bye!